From the time I graduated from Happy Meals until the time I got my first job in car and could order whatever I want. For those years, I got the exact same McDonald's order every single time. And I got it today. It'll be a nice little throwback. Will it be that interesting? Probably not. Will it fill me up? Definitely not. So I actually got a couple more bonus items in here as well. I know I said this last time, but yeah, I could I could live in a McDonald's. You know, when I was a kid, I my dream was to have a McDonald's in my basement. That's weird. Let me start off with the bonus items right here. This is something I've never had before. It is some kind of beef Cajun snack wrap. And we also have a Shanghai chicken snack wrap. I'm gonna put these off to the side for now. Here, I'm going to place my order that, you know, if you're rocking with me, if you know, you know, is what, what I gotta say. Bam. I don't know if I'm tripping, a little Mandela effect going on maybe, but when I was growing up, this was the number two. This is the double cheeseburger combo meal. Two regular cheeseburgers, the drink, which I'll get to here in a second, and the fries. And I'm just, I'm just noticing what's on the back of these. I think it's a few examples of media that McDonald's has been featured in. Fallen Angels. That's low key, man. These are so rinky dink, man. All right, here we go. And by the way, the drink, it's a Sprite. Sprite was by far my go-to. I never really drink Sprite anymore. I definitely still like it though, but I realized at some point that when you're going to McDonald's, Coke is a play, so at some point I switched over. If you've never seen a McDonald's cheeseburger before, I don't really know what to tell you, but I guess I'll show you. Bottom bun, some of those little onions, cheese, mustard ketchup, and a pickle. I could have swore there were two pickles. Ah! I'm gonna actually eat this the way I would eat it when I was a kid too. Are, did they did they cut back on the pickles, man? It's weird. That could be another crazy Mandela phenomenon, but here is the Shanghai snack wrap. It is basically just a chicken tender with, with a little strip of bacon. We got lettuce and what looks like mayo. And here is the Cajun beef snack wrap. Looks like a folded up patty, just a regular patty some Cajun sauce and some lettuce in here. But let me start off with a burger. And let me show you, this is how I used to eat burgers as a kid from McDonald's. I would open it up, take off the pickle, eat it, slap the bun back on, wait till the pickle is down and then, and then go in. For some reason, I didn't prefer to eat it with the pickle on it, which is weird. Why did I do that? And I'll tell you what, this pickleless cheeseburger from McDonald's is really bringing me back. Mm. These days, I probably would never get this. I'm getting a double cheeseburger min or a triple cheeseburger. This, yeah, I mean, it's flimsy. What, how many bites have I taken? Three. It's going down quick. We're going right down the hatch. I should get the whole experience going here. Take a sip of Sprite. Oh, yeah. That actually does bring me back. I'll tell you what, like for real talk, I don't know when it was that I figured out that McDonald's Coke was better. Probably it's been a long time. I McDonald's Sprite also it's different. Mmm. That's a combo right there, man. I'll tell you what, McDonald's for me growing up was a huge special occasion type of meal. Like I said, until I got my first job in car when I was 16, I got a 1997 Plymouth Breeze. Working at this place that shall not be named. And, uh, man. Just loving life, dude. 
Well, not really. I hated high school, but having the ability to not ride my bike everywhere, having the ability to like have money to spend and be able to go places to spend it was pretty nice. I can't lie. One of the first things I bought was a, I went to the pawn shop. I bought an old used TV. My parents would never let me have a TV in my room. But they're like, hey, you got a part-time job now. Go out and spend your money. So I got this old box TV, probably like a 22-inch big-ass box TV from the pawn shop, as well as an N64, the first system I ever bought. I was 16, copping the N64. That was pretty crazy. Because I didn't, I couldn't have that as a kid either. Kind of strict growing up. But anyway, yeah, I might get real deep with it here for a second. Basically, when I was a kid, I got to go to McDonald's once every three weeks for a special occasion related to the place of worship that we went to. Like every three weeks, there was something special going on. Me and my brother hated going, obviously. So my mom was like, all right, every three weeks we can do this. And we would love, I would look forward to that week for, for the last three weeks. You know what I mean? But let me try this Shanghai snacker up. Mmm. I like that. Not bad at all. Simple, classic, no frills. I've had bad snack wraps before here, but this one's not bad. Anyway, when I kind of got out of that place of worship, we'll say, I was 13 or 12 and then I didn't have to go anymore. And then basically I would only go to McDonald's on like trips, like family trips or whatever. So maybe when my mom was like busy, my dad would sneak us there, but that's pretty much it. Mm. Shout out Pops for that one, by the way. This one's not bad. I don't think I've ever had a beef snacker out from McDonald's, so. Kind of cool. Got a little zest to it too. Hold on. What y'all know about the Cajun Shanghai snack wrap? Here we go. Mm. Ah, by the way, these two snack wraps cost me about five bucks, which means this cost me about seven bucks or so, which is probably quite a bit higher than back in the day, but probably actually not that much higher. All right, so thinking back, before I got onto this meal right here, the number two, I would always go for the burger Happy Meals. When I was selling the Happy Meals, I, would, I think I probably started with the hamburger, then evolved into the cheeseburger. And then after I got graduated out of this one, and I get whatever I want, I was just hunting the dollar menu. <clears throat> Man, I was getting late night munchies, you know, those high school days, and then just maxing. Like, one of these, one of these, two of those, one of those three of those also thinking back man it's, it's fun to just think back sometimes god dang i was the most shy kid you'll probably you'll probably have ever met in your life to an insane level it was absolutely insane what triggered that memory was i would never order really my own food so I'm talking about like, say we went to McDonald's and we all have our own orders, but I would say, tell my mom or my dad, hey, I want the number two, and then they would order for me. And I could have just said it to the, you know, the cashier myself. It was, and that lasted until I was probably like 14 or something. Which I guess it's pretty embarrassing, I guess, like. I was just extremely shy, and I was like, I've, I still am, I would say, and I always have been, but at least I, at least I can order my own food now. But, but yeah, it's like, I don't know. One thing I don't like doing still is like answering the phone. T to be fair, it's always in Korean. I only have calls in Korean, and it's like I have a hard time understanding. I sound like a doofus.
And most of the time I'll say, hey, I can't really speak Korean. And they're like, oh, we'll speak slowly for you. And they're still speaking a mile a minute. I'm like, man, all right. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to go. For me, it's a lot harder to, to communicate with someone in Korean on the phone because I, I can't get any of the, the facial expressions, the gestures. You know, you can do a lot with just pointing. Air drawing, you know, stuff like that. It's actually quite fascinating, but you can't do that on the phone. But no, nah, man, I just hated any, even the slightest, the smallest of interactions. Can I have a number two, please? With a Sprite. I don't know, man. And I'm sure my parents would like nudge me to like, hey, just, just order and like try to get me to do it. Maybe offer me a, a reward, a prize if I did it. But I was so stubborn. I, I still am kind of quite stubborn sometimes. Like, even if I wanted that toy, like, hey, we'll buy you this toy if you like come out of your cell a little bit. And I'd be like, nah, don't want that toy no more. Weird kid, very weird kid, still weird. Anyway, I'm about to skate out of here. Thank you for watching this and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.